Howdy, it's Tubal Kane again, and this is uh, Machine Shop Tips number 161, Making a Drill Press Depth Stop. But before I start, real quickly here, uh, a man by the name of Steve Page sent me this little uh, anvil paperweight that he cast in his home foundry, and uh, just as a little gift, and uh, thank you, Steve, appreciate it, and uh, nicely cast. I think he made the pattern as well. And the subject of this video is how to make a depth stop. Now most all drill presses come with this type of threaded depth stop and uh, they work well enough but they are frustrating because it takes so long to make the adjustment. And some of them have finer threads than others. This is a rather coarse thread here on the, the Duro and that's a 5 8 uh, 11 thread and I've already made the depth stop for this and I'm going to make one for another drill, drill press here presently in this demonstration but I purchased one of these and these only cost uh, $4.50 so they're super cheap but they're the wrong thread size so I re-thread it I'm going to show you how to do that how to drill it and thread it and you can quickly move it into any position on any drill press that has that size and I noticed from my three drill presses that they all have different sizes so that is not something that anyone agreed on but uh, that's pretty slick isn't it and that's what we're going to do today and I'm going to do it for the uh, Walker Turner drill press and that's a finer one that's a 5 8 fine that's a 5 8 18 fine thread I'm at the Bridgeport mill now and the thread here on a Bridgeport quill is really a fine one. It's a, a 1 half 20. So to make an adjustment here it just takes forever. So someone long ago came up with these and I think they probably sold a million of them. And I've had that for years and it's also a quick, an adjust, a quick adjustment. So what I did was to buy a quill stop and I, like I said and you can buy these from any of your suppliers and they're only about four dollars and fifty cents but they will be threaded one half twenty because they're really made for the milling machine and I'm going to show you how to uh, re-thread this without ruining it I hope what I've done here is to mount the quill stop in the chuck or in the vise rather and I had to hang it out near the ends because the knurled knobs here would interfere so those have to be outboard and I am on parallels here those wavy parallels I don't know if you can see that or not and the vise is tightened and I have already moved the table around under the uh, pin right here and I turned this down so that it would be equal to the minor diameter of the thread which I think was about four hundred and fifteen thousandths and move the table back and forth until I got a good alignment here. Now there are other ways of doing this. If you can think of another way, there's, you know, there's 10 ways to do just about everything. And on the first one, I did sweep it with a coaxial indicator with a, a thread and a stud in there, but I think that was overkill. And this is going to be plenty accurate. And uh, this will be, uh, again, 5 8 fine. And that, uh, drill I've already gotten out it is a 37 64 drill I didn't have a step drill it's got to be a taper shank drill in this case because that's all I have and I will put this uh, adapter into the quill here directly now I do have to uh, move the work from underneath here so I can mount the tool so I have zeroed out my digital readout and then I can very quickly relocate it with great accuracy. So now I'm ready to drill. Be sure and roll up your sleeves and wear your safety glasses when you work on these machines. I've got the work mounted as I just showed you and the drill bit mounted and this larger bit I'm going to run in back gears at slow speed and remember on a bridge board in back, back gears you have to run it in reverse. Just take your time and drill it slowly so it doesn't grab, get pulled out of the vise and ruin it.
the hole is drilled and I'm now ready to tap and this is strictly a hand operation this is not a power operation I've got a center mounted in a collet it's a dead center and push down against the tap I already put some of this on and I'm going to keep a little pressure from the quill on it so one, I got one hand on the the quill feed here the quill lever and the other hand on my adjustable wrench and this is a tapered tap and I'm just gonna tap it it's gonna end up with kind of a thin wall out here too by the way I've noticed but I don't think it'll hurt a thing then every turn or so I like to back it up and and break that chip I should have put a spring-loaded center in here instead of that dead center and I'll finish that up off camera I went all the way down the hole is tapped there we are it looks pretty good you see what I mean by a rather thin wall here I blew the thread out and cleaned it real well got just a little bit of a burr here not much it's nice soft aluminum let's see how it fits I'm liking it already. I'm liking it. This is something I'm really going to use often. So that's a, a possibility for you for one of your next projects. But make sure that you check on your drill presses that you have clearance here. And I noticed on this one I will not be able to mount it straight out with the neural knob straight out. It has to be at cocked just a little bit on this press because we've got a boss here for this uh, quill lock that would interfere. Let me show you. So if I put it straight in like that, like I did on the other drill press, you can see it's, I think it's going to hit here. Yeah. Did you see it move just a little bit? There it's hitting. So I need to swing it out like that. But other than that, that's going to work perfect. And you know, I only paid four dollars and fifty cents for this thing and uh, so that's why I bought two of them but the shipping will kill you so wait until you have an uh, order and you can you just add that onto the order and I think that probably all of the suppliers have these uh, you know at a, at a cheap price like that so uh, that's uh, the poor man's depth stop for a drill press hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, video and uh, let me know if you like it Take a look at some of my other videos if you're a newbie. But most of you, I think, have seen all 300. This is Tubal Cain saying so long for now.